Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Market Forecast brought to you by Options University. It's Monday, April 14th, 2014, and this is Butch Shorak. Welcome to Market Forecast. Access to this video is for educational and informational purposes only. Nothing contained in this video, website, or promotional material constitutes a promotional recommendation, solicitation, or offer of any particular investment, security, or transaction. Options University provides educational services that are meant to teach you the risks and rewards of trading stocks and options, and we're not a service that tells you what to trade. We're not implying or guaranteeing any profit. And as always, do not trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. With that fact, let's take a look and see what happened to the market during the last week. Looking at our indexes, the respectively, we're looking at the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, Russell 2000. As we go into expiration week, as this will be the third Friday of the week, we see that for the week preceding expiration week, we have all negative numbers in all of our indexes. And we see that the Dow down 2.4% for the week, down 3.3% for the year. NASDAQ down 3.1% for the week, down 4.2% for the year. S&P down 2.6% for the week, and uh, for the year down 1.8% going into negative numbers this week. Russell 2000 down 3.6% for the week, down 4.5% for the year. As we see the market beginning that pullback, we have gotten out of the best six months of the year as we entered April we're here in earnings season and we're having a bit of a pullback prior to that earnings season move. With that let's take a look and see what kind of uh, economic announcements we have coming in the coming week and we see that we have retail sales coming, business inventories coming at 10 o'clock on Monday. So we got a little bit of announcements coming place on Monday. Looking at Tuesday, April 15th, tax day, the CPI we'll look at before the market opens, Empire State Manufacturing Survey. Then at 10 o'clock, we'll look at the housing market index. On Wednesday, we got housing stats coming out at 8.30, industrial production coming out at 9.15. So every single day this week, we've got announcements that certainly uh, uh, provide uh, some kind of indication as to what the overall uh, economic market is doing. Jobless claims, which come out weekly, come out at 8.30 on Thursday. The Philly Fed coming out at 10 o'clock. And then Friday, which is Good Friday, markets are closed, the banks are open, and we have economic leading indicators uh, giving us a report on last month coming out at 10 a.m. on Friday. However, the market is closed. So we've got a four-day week coming up this week, Passover starting on Tuesday or at midnight on Monday. And let's take a look at the SPX. Looking at the SPX, what is our overall trend? Looking at a six-month chart this week to give us a greater view of what the overall market's doing. See, we're headed for that that line that we've hit before uh, multiple times on the SPX. As we're in the downtrend, we still have the 30 above the 50 above the 200, but we're uh, definitely having a bit of a pullback as we see what, what occurred in February occurring again now in April. What does that mean to us? Well, that's what we'll find out as the market uh, has what is a normal cyclical pullback, which we see happen over and over again. Looking at uh, the SPX in a closer uh, look for just the last week, we saw that uh, as the week went on, we did pull back to that 30, got or the 50, got some a bounce off of it. But notice we ended up with a lower high than we had previously, and so we see we broke down through the 50, headed first for this line at about uh, right, right around 1800, and then we've got uh, the 200-day uh, moving average sitting at about 1760. So we're we're about four percent away from uh, um, that 200-day uh, moving average if you actually do the uh, figures, I believe. Looking at the Dow, let's take a look at the Dow, and we see that the Dow is in about the same situation. We had a high just uh, in April. We had a lower high, and then we see that we've pulled back, breaking through again, headed somewhere towards this 200-day moving average. Hit it before in February. We'll probably hit it again at this point. Watch those um, uh, indicators carefully, as this is going to give you some indication when we're going to get our next bounce, if you truly feel that we've got a next bounce coming. Look, you know, at the NASDAQ, we're going to see a little bit more weakness out of the NASDAQ as we look at it. And we see that we're almost at that 200-day moving average, which is there right around 39.50 or so. 
and we'll see whether we uh, get to that. Probably we'll get to that this week as we see the NASDAQ pulling back. Looking at the Russell, remember these uh, 210 does lead us down at this time of the year. Looking at the Russell 2000, you see we're actually just all but hit that 200-day moving average on Friday. So uh, expect some kind of a bounce coming out of the market here shortly. Uh, as the uh, futures opened on Sunday night, they're down a little bit as we move forward. But uh, um, we're seeing uh, uh, a general weakness in the market, uh, giving what uh, is normal cycles and pulling back the way things normally do. For now, let's take a look at the VIX. So what would you expect that to do? Well, as a contrarian indicator, we would expect that the VIX will uh, have a tendency to pop up a little bit. That's exactly what we see. We're headed for some of these highs before. Uh, back in February, we uh, ended up with uh, VIX reading of around 2150. And we see that we could certainly get higher than what we currently are. As we pull a little bit for, back further this week, uh, expecting to hit some kind of uh, support um, uh, this week, uh, maybe halfway through the week or so. Remember, this is only a four-day trading week, and so uh, that will have an effect on how far down the market goes in these four days. Um, looking then at the bond market, we'd expect some flight to safety, and that's exactly what we got out of the bond market. As you see, we're sitting at resistance at this point Friday, and uh, we can expect that if Mark pulls back a little higher, we're going to get a higher high here. As we see uh, that flight to safety take place where they move their money out of stocks and into bonds, which increases the demand and therefore the price. What about gold? Well, gold isn't showing us in a whole lot. Um, we were higher uh, in March and we're getting a little bit of a move up, but uh, not really showing us uh, um, uh, as big of a move up as uh, one might expect with this pullback. Next, let's take a look at the uh, volume that we took had take place in the sell-off. We see that we were at our high volumes as the uh, sell-off took place on Thursday and Friday of last week. Looking at the financials, XLF, our uh, ETF sector, to tell us about that, we're headed down for some previous support, uh, probably going to get close to that 200-day uh, moving average as we see the financials pull back with the overall market, exactly what we expect it to do. Again, waiting for and looking for that bounce, some kind of confirmation that we're going to get a bounce and uh, head up higher. Remember, the Fed hasn't changed anything, and you never fight the Fed, but we do expect this cycle to take place. In fact, as a matter of fact, talking about bonds, uh, April, the end of April usually is a time when we see a, a, a rally uh, taking place in the bond market, and that has to do with prices of the stock and money moving out of the stock market. Looking at oil, we see oil is approaching its high that it had in February or early March, and uh, we'll probably reach that point as, as oil seems to be on a little bit of an uptrend here. Overhead resistance just above us, so uh, you might take a look at that and might provide an opportunity to the downside as that uh, gets its bounce and then uh, does what stock markets do. They go up and they go down and they rotate and uh, gives us some kind of indication of what's happening. Next, uh, uh, for those of you that are gold members, stick around for our stocks to watch. And uh, for those of you that are not gold members, uh, um, if you want interested in more free videos, go to www.optionsuniversity.com forward slash free gold. And with that thought, this is Market Forecast, brought to you by Options University. It's Monday, April 14, 2014. I'm Butch Shorak, and thank you for being here. Have a happy short trading week.